breaking developments tonight. The new video coming in after those two New York City police officers were murdered in cold blood, ambushed as they sat in their police car. The new images minutes after gunshots rang out, and you can see there at the bottom of your screen one of the officers there on that stretcher being raced away. And tonight, authorities are also studying this new surveillance tape, the suspect in the hours before the attack, the weapon they believe inside that bag. Tonight, new alerts going out in cities across this country to keep their officers safe. ABC's Lindsay Davis with the new surveillance tonight. Tonight, these new images of the moment of crisis. A cop a shot. Police swarming the scene, rushing to an ambulance. One of the two Brooklyn police officers gunned down Saturday in broad daylight by a man authorities have identified as 28-year-old Ishmael Brinsley. Police say Brinsley was on a mission to kill cops. That morning, he left Baltimore after allegedly shooting his ex-girlfriend, arriving in New York before noon on a bus. Police releasing this video of Brinsley at a Brooklyn mall. His gun, they say in that bag. Baltimore detectives soon discovering threats he posted on Instagram. I'm putting wings on pigs today. They take one of ours. Let's take two of theirs with the hashtags shoot the police, RIP Eric Gardner and RIP Mike Brown. They alerted the NYPD, but word never got to officers Wen Jian Liu and Rafael Ramos sitting in their patrol car in Brooklyn. 2.47 p.m., police say Brinsley approached that car, telling two bystanders, watch what I'm about to do. He walked up to the passenger side and fired four shots, striking both officers in the head. Shot fired, shot fired. As police descended, the gunman fled. SWAT teams chased the suspect here to this nearby subway station. Police say Brinsley then shot himself in the head. Tonight, a city in mourning. Officer Liu leaves behind a wife of just two months. Officer Ramos, two sons, his 13-year-old writing on Facebook, it's horrible that someone gets shot dead just for being a police officer. Everyone says they hate cops, but they are the people that they call for help. I will always love you. Many in the NYPD now angry with New York's Mayor Bill de Blasio, who they say has been too sympathetic to anti-police protesters. Some officers defiantly turning their backs on him Saturday night. Today, de Blasio calling for calm. The assassination of these two officers was an attack on the city of New York as a whole, on every one of us, on our values, on our democracy. We cannot tolerate such attacks. Tonight, the mayor asking that all protests against alleged police misconduct be put on hold until after the officers' funerals. Officer Ramos is scheduled to be laid to rest on Saturday. Meanwhile, David, this memorial only continues to grow. All right, Lindsay Davis live in Brooklyn tonight. Lindsay, thank you. Let's get right to our senior justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, tonight. And Pierre, several cities putting out alerts, and you have some of them tonight? That's right, David. Not just in New York, but also in the Atlanta suburbs, Boston, Baltimore, New Jersey, Pittsburgh, and other locations across the country. Police leaders and unions have issued warnings urging extra caution. In short, telling the rank and file they could be targeted and ambushed. In a number of cases, officers are being told not to go on patrols alone, to be extra careful about their surroundings, and to even be cautious about what they post on social media, David. But, Pierre, even before that awful scene here in New York this weekend, this has been a dangerous year for police across the country? Police deaths have been spiking compared to 2013, David. The number of officers killed in the line of duty has surged by 23 percent, with those killed by firearms up a staggering 58 percent. Authorities say there's a lot of anti-government, anti-police sentiment out there right now. All right, Pierre Thomas, live in our Washington Bureau. Pierre, thank you.